and welcome back to another Stitches and Scribbles video. My name is Erin and today we're going to be doing a commission order that I got. Um, my grandmother requested that I make a baby hat and mitten set for a baby who's like I think a couple months old at this point. So to prepare for the winter season. Um, I purchased patterns for both the hat and the mittens which will be linked down below. I got them both from Etsy and I'm going to be starting off with the hat pattern, which I'm looking for the name of the creator on my computer right now. Um, this is a pattern by Sunny Day Fiber. Again, it'll be linked below and I purchased it on Etsy, but it looks like she also has a website. This hat pattern, maybe I'll like pop a picture up right here to show you what it looks like is called her classic beanie hat. It shows it with a pom-pom at the top, which I don't think I'm gonna add, but since I've never made a like classic beanie style hat this small before, I really wanted to use somebody else's pattern to make sure that I got the measurements right before I started. So I'm gonna be following it for the toddler directions just so that it will continue to fit um, the recipient of the hat as she gets a little bit older. Today I will be using the Baby Bee Storkstruck yarn in the color Pinkaboo, which is a really pastel pink. Um, I did purchase two of these because I wasn't sure how much yardage I would need for the hat and for the mittens, so I do have two of them. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I will be listening to a podcast while I work. I also have really been liking putting um, ambiance videos up on my TV while I'm working and listening to something just to get some like extra sound effects and like kind of put me in the mood to sit and work. So I've really been liking fall themed ones lately, even though I know that like it's sort of still summer. It still feels like summer. It's only slightly starting to get colder now, um, but it like puts me in the cozy fall mood. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have finished the ribbing for the bottom of the hat. I did end up starting over because I decided that the baby size would be better than the toddler size. I did have to Google like what the difference is and how old a kid is considered a toddler at um, and decided that the baby size would end up being better. Um, I've been working for about 40 minutes so far, but I did restart. So I would think that this maybe took like 30 minutes to do the ribbing. Um, so I'm going to start the stockinette section to start building the hat upwards. Um, I also realized that I was making a lot of really silly faces while listening to my true crime podcast. Um, it does feel very weird to be listening to 
scary stories while making a baby item, but I find it funny. I'm currently listening to the podcast and that's why we drink and I'm on, what episode am I on? I'm currently listening to episode 14, but they haven't introduced the case yet. I just finished listening to like one of the listener story volumes um, and that one uh, had a lot of weird stories in it. So I was definitely making faces. So I'm going to continue knitting and continue listening and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm ready to start the decreases. the stockinette section so I can start the decreases. I've probably been working for like an hour and 15 minutes at this point so I'm guessing that this is an under two hour project total. I'm gonna go ahead and start the decreases. Also in case you're wondering the weird faces in the last clip, um, like I said I'm listening to episode 14 of and that's why we drink and like skip ahead 30 seconds if uh, you can't handle scary gory things I guess um but one of the hosts was telling a story about a haunted hotel and the part where I made a face was her describing that at some point in history this hotel had a really weird guest who would hang raw meat to cure inside his hotel room which like seems like that's against excuse you train um seems like that's against all sorts of sanitary rules and stuff um, but when he died the hotel staff didn't notice for a couple days because the whole hallway smelled like raw meat so they didn't notice when there was dead body smell coming from inside the hotel room so that's lovely and that's why I was making that face we're gonna continue with those uh, decreases and keep listening to scary stories <laughs>
baby hat is finished. I think it turned out super cute and was pretty easy to follow the pattern. Um, the only stitches you needed to know how to do are knit pearls and knit two together to make that like decreasing at the top. Um, it took me about two hours but I did take like a 15 minute break for lunch in there so it's probably like an hour and 45 minute project but super cute. I'm gonna get started on the mittens. Let me look at the pattern here for a second. So I can tell you about it. Um, the mitten pattern I'm gonna use is by Long Beach Designs. I also purchased it on Etsy and I will link it below for you. And the pattern is called Libby's Baby Munchkin Mitts. I am gonna do a little bit of an alteration to the pattern just because I want the gauge to match the hat. So the hat pattern called for five millimeter needles and a um, worsted weight yarn. This pattern calls for four millimeter needles and a light worsted weight yarn. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my five millimeter needles but make it a size smaller than I would normally. So instead of doing the three to six month size, I'm gonna do the zero to three month size, but with the slightly bigger needles and slightly bigger yarn and hope that it works out. This yarn is pretty stretchy. So even if it's like a little on the small side, it should still work, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. took about a half an hour I think I'm looking at my timer um so cute so tiny um so let's go ahead and make the second one these are the thumbless mittens by the way which makes it a lot easier if you're a beginner I have never made mittens with thumbs on them before so it definitely made it seem less daunting for me but it's just a little garter edge and then the rest is done in stockinette it kind of just looks like a little tiny hat so let's make mitten number two.
right, so I have finished both mittens. They turned out super cute. I did add an I-cord string to them just because I wouldn't want to lose <laughs> one of these little mittens, so the string keeping them attached also keeps them from getting lost as easily. But these turned out so cute, and here's the matching hat. So overall, I think I spent right around four hours on both parts of the project, the mittens and the hat. So this would be an easy gift that you could get done in a weekend or a couple of weeknights if you were looking to give it as a gift. I did it basically all in one sitting. I took a couple breaks to do some other tasks, um, but it was fairly easy. Again, both patterns will be linked down below if you're interested in making the same ones that I did. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure that you leave a like, uh, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment if you have any. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone!